We start today at the Dakota Hills Mall. These hoodlums are running everyone's pockets and Static pulls up and violently slaughters all of them. The bird lady's still alive apparently, so he just gets her locked up. Static's father, Mr. Hawkin, is watching the brouhaha on television and thinks Static is too cocky. Sharon walks up and says Richie is a bum and needs to pay rent because he stay at their house. Static and Richie are upstairs talking gadget and Static realizes that Sharon was right. They've literally never been to Richie's house. Richie gets all nervous and he says, it's just better over here. After getting pressed, Richie blurts out, fine, we'll just go over on Friday. It turns out that Static sucks at killing, so everyone's actually alive and fine. They're mad though. Uh, they're gonna kill Static or something, you know, basic villain stuff. Virgil and Richie are playing in Richie's room and it's sweet. Static is low-key mad that he acted like he didn't have anything just so he could come over and waste all his electricity and eat his food. Richie's mom comes in and tells them that they're gonna have dinner soon. Right at that moment, Richie's dad comes home slamming the door. Virgil comes out to greet him because he always wanted to meet Mr. Foley, but Mr. Foley does not share the same sentiment. Richie chalks it up to a rough day at work and Virgil just accepts that and he's gonna go and get ready for dinner. At the table it's quieter than Chernobyl and just as toxic. Virgil says he brought some rap and Richie's dad acts like he just put a crack pipe on the table. He says rap teaches kids to disrespect their parents and write on walls and stay out after curfew and wear velvet do-rags and listen to music on the bus over their phones speakers. It destroys everything guys like him built. Richie says he's embarrassed of his dad's prejudice and Virgil tells him it's all good. It isn't a black white thing, it's an old thing. While going to brush his teeth, he overhears Richie's dad say, and I quote, Now I see why Richie acts like the hood. That kid's a bad influence. All his kind are. It's bad enough I have to deal with him all day long. Now one of them is in my house? Static immediately dips out and he tells Richie that you just can't put the neck bones in the green now. It's too damn late. Richie storms upstairs and tells his clansman father that he hates him. Static is back home and he's staring out of a window sighing so you know shit is real. His dad comes and checks on him and Virgil wants to know how can someone like that be Richie's father? Mr. Hawkins tells him that Richie's dad doesn't even know himself and at least Richie has broken his father's cycle of intolerance. Static tries to get a stereo off the sympathy but his dad says he doesn't like rap. Doesn't say anything racist so I'm not sure if it's just a whole thing anymore. Static gets a call from Richie's mom. He hasn't been home all night. Richie's dad is drinking in anger. You could tell by his handshake. She tries to apologize to Static, but he cuts her off. He don't want to hear that. Richie is walking up the street in the snow and starts getting harassed by some zoo animals. Baltimore is rough. He manages to evade them by climbing a ladder. You know, they don't have opposable thumbs, so they can't climb. Mr. Foley goes to visit Mr. Hawkins in search of Richie. He's trying to act all self-righteous about how nobody could tell him about his parenting abilities. Virgil's dad then asked him, hey, do you know any of Richie's friends or where he hangs out. Richie then tells him how he doesn't know anything about his son, not even that his friends are. Virgil dad corrects him right there. African American. He then proceeds to try to storm out because it's just a waste of his time. His pride would allow him to let Richie freeze to death rather than get some help from a black dude. Virgil's dad basically forces him to act like an adult and go look for his son. Static is on the look for Richie and he finds him over their communication system. Richie says that he can't forgive his father and Static should be madder than him. Don't tell black people how mad they should be about racism, but his heart is in the right place. Virgil cheers him up, but this shadowy figure Ebon is lurking. Static hears some sirens and he goes to assist, and Shadow Man kidnaps Richie. Virgil's dad takes Richie's dad to a drug den. Mr. Hawkins is trying to help all of them, and Mr. Foley is being judgmental. Hawkins tells him that a lot of these kids' home lives are so rough that they would rather be homeless than live with their asshole parents. Mr. Foley says, like Richie, somehow Virgil's dad doesn't go, Duh. Some young ne'er-do-well directs them to an abandoned building and they don't see the setup for the wet-up coming. Ebon is back at the villain's lair and he is trying to trade Richie for Bird Lady. Bird Lady's in police lockup, so what is the plan here? Ebon doesn't have a nose, so he can't sniff out the bullshit. Richie keeps pressing the walkie-talkie in his back pocket while yelling the location. Did nobody search this dude? Downstairs, I think Mr. Foley's brain alternator is dead, so the jump start didn't work earlier. He's still blaming the world around him for his problems. Mr. Hawkins checks him, and I quote, I know your kind, Foley. I've seen your kind all my life. A fine.
fine, upstanding bigot. His nose so close to the grindstone, he can't see anything else. Meanwhile, the world changes and grows, and he's blind to it, ignorant and proud of it. Richie's father is mad at reality. If you think TV is too woke now, I want you to go back and actually watch the old shows you praise, because they probably talking about y'all. Ebon finally notices Richie has a wire and snatches his ass up. Richie yells out, and the fathers hear it. They run upstairs, and Mr. Richie sees this black dude manhandling his son, so that's that's not gonna help things. The fathers try to fight the supervillains and get their ass whooped like you would expect. Luckily, Static shows up and shocks everyone. That works until Ebon starts stomping his ass out. Richie's dad tries to save a black man and he gets a backhand for it. The shocking works better the second time. Richie checks in on his dad and I think he's concussed because the racism is gone. Apologize to Richie and embraces him. So the kids you right here. Mr. Hawkin asks if Static's parents know where he is, so he skedaddles out. The next day, Static and Richie are going to Dakota Comic Con, and Mr. Foley is their chaperone. Static tries to tell him about cosplay, and Richie stops him. He wants to see his dad be surprised at all the men in makeup. I guess one bigotry at a time. 